guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Monday mashup video. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I took this series over from Instagram, my IGTV series, turned it to a YouTube series because it just made more sense here on YouTube because YouTube is searchable and lots of people are looking for reviews on new products. So after unboxing, I did a little PR unboxing over on Instagram, and after unboxing the new Too Faced lip glosses, my DMs were blown up, so I figured I would do a Monday mashup about the lip glosses. And I have all the colors here in front of me. I haven't used all of them. I've only used maybe two of them so far. And I just want to dive into this particular product from Too Faced, and we're just going to jump right in. I'm literally just jumping right in. I don't need to waste your time. Lip Injection Lip Gloss Too Faced. This is what they look like. We've got all the colors here. They had an epic package that had the face primer. It had their typical clear glosses. And then I didn't realize this until someone actually DM'd me and told me there was an extra drawer at the bottom that needed to be pulled out, which is where all of these lip glosses came from. So I'm so thankful that someone told me because I had no idea. I probably would have realized it when I was taking the box to the recycling and been like, this still feels really heavy. I wonder if there's something else in here. But thank goodness someone told me because all the good stuff was at the bottom. Now the color I have been using pretty consistently here. Let me see. Not this one on blast. We've got, oh, it's this one. This beautiful pink color is called Just a Girl. This is the one I have been using consistently for the last week, but there are so many options, you guys. We've got just the clear one. I have this beautiful one. This is Say My Name, a beautiful light pink. All the light pinks are kind of my favorite. We've got Pretty Pony, which really does remind me of a very girly, like younger girl color. This one is perfect for summer. It's this beautiful coral color. It's called On Blast. I love this one, a nudie pink. It's called Wifey for Lifey. I, I have to give it to Too Faced. The way that they are so creative, not only with just their PR packages, but the packaging, the smells, the naming, all of that takes so much work, you guys. Sometimes we underestimate the amount of time, effort, work, and how many people actually came together to create something. But these names are so creative, and I've just always loved that about Too Faced. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude color called Soulmate. This is a really interesting one. It's like got a, a little bit of a glittery vibe to it, and it's this deeper brown pinky color. It's called Hot Love. Ooh. We've got more of an orange shade, the bigger the hoops. I love it. I'm also obsessed with this one. This one's called Wanna Play. Really pretty pink color. We've got a brighter pink color. This is definitely a pop that's called People Pleaser. Another nudie pink, love a nudie pink. Glossy and bossy, mm-hmm. We've got another purpley color. This is Paid Off. Nice little glittery element to it. And we've got Secret Sauce. It's like this really pretty light orangish color and then more of a deeper orange, like a burnt one. Secure the bag. And then did I already show this one to you? Just a Girl. So this is the one I've been using. So those are the colors that I have here. That should be the entire lip gloss collection. And then they also sent these as well. So this is the Extreme Lip Injection Instant and long-term lip plumper. So not only does it give you that instant effect, this is also supposed to help long-term with your pout, which is kind of cool. And then this is the Lip Injection Ultimate Lip Plumper. So I think this is the original one. This is the one that I have tried over on my Instagram stories a while back. This is an extreme, and there is another one somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's not on my desk at the moment. But there is another one that is like super extreme. It's like, whoa, your lips are gonna look crazy. They don't look crazy. They just look really nice and juicy and super plump. So there are three levels of this. So this is an additional oil that you can put on top or you can just put this oil on your own lips. That's what I've been doing because this product is what launched a while back. This is what I originally tested on my Instagram stories and I was like, I put it on my hand, stupid. Okay, biggest recommendation about these, do not put this anywhere besides your lips because the area of your face that you put it on is going to swell up. 
I put this on my hand and my hand was like it had a rash it got like swollen it got a little bit big because the idea of these is that it is literally making your lips swell up and so if you put this anywhere else on your body it's probably not going to look as cute and sexy as it would on your lips so be very careful with those you know sometimes I find people put their lip gloss or their lipstick also on their cheeks for example you know that's a really fun hack when you're not dealing with a lip plumping product like this. So don't put this on your cheeks. That is my biggest tip. Now, I'm going to do a little close up and we're gonna do not necessarily a time lapse, but I'm just going to keep the camera on my lips in the same place until we can see the before and after so I can show you like, this is what it was like before. And let's just say two minutes later, I'll fast forward so you don't have to watch the paint dry on the wall behind me. I'm just kidding, stupid joke. But I'm gonna just fast forward it so you guys can see how my lips respond to this because when you're watching it yourself, you almost don't believe it when you see your lips getting plumper. It's so strange because you kind of watch it gradually happen, but if you see it from the beginning to the end, there is a wow factor, okay? I honestly feel like when I use these, it kind of feels to me like I just went and got my lips done. And this is obviously substantially less expensive and it doesn't require any needles. And it's really pretty that they did this whole color range. So what we're going to do is I am gonna use this guy. This is just the clear one. And then I'm going to pop some of this lip oil on as well. And I have already ruined this one, I think. You can kind of see it turns pink, so whatever you put this on top of is going to absorb the color, which is the same for most lip products. So I'm first going to just give you what the lip gloss looks like. And then I'm gonna give it some time, let it grow a little bit. Then we're gonna pop on, this is actually the ultimate one. Maybe I should show you the extreme. We'll do that. We'll go crazy so you can really see a difference. And like I said, I'm gonna get up close and personal. Hopefully you won't see up my nose, but let's do this. We're gonna do this right now. We are up close and personal to my lips. I'm not gonna show you up my nose and I'm going in with the lip injection from Too Faced. This is the shade Just A Girl. sensation. you guys there is the lip injector this is just the basic one then you've got the extreme and I have the maximum plump this is the one I opened a couple days ago so we're gonna add this on top of this guy <laughs> Sensation here as well. 
I can see my lips getting plumper. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you're able to see the difference from before and after, but this is huge for me. Very quick reminder that each month I am going to be doing a different YouTube giveaway, one big prize, and all you have to do is like, and comment on every video for the month and be subscribed to my channel. That is how you enter to win. I will have January's winner announced in my description box below, so make sure you guys always read the description box. There's always helpful information in there, links to things that I've mentioned, links to other social media, and I will have the winner's name down there as well in tonight's video. And I will include information about next, or this month's giveaway, which is going to be huge. I love February, I love Valentine's Day, and I just have had this gift idea in my mind for some time. So you guys are in for a treat this month. Make sure you are liking, commenting on videos, and subscribe. Okay, so me just looking into the camera now and seeing what my lips look like now before I put anything on, huge difference. And I'm curious if you guys saw the difference as it kind of developed. I was just letting the camera film for several minutes to show the growth, and it continues to go for a couple more minutes. I think about 10 to 20 minutes after application is when I find it's at its prime. The thing I've really enjoyed about this formulation is that I do like the little tingly sensation when you first put it on. It just kind of feels like a slightly minty cooling sensation, which is always a nice enhancement. I love that this keeps my lips moisturized for hours, hours. I will apply this once, maybe in the morning, I'll think about putting something on my lips maybe at like 4 or 5 p.m. But when I basically do that running my lips, I still have remnants of the moisture. This lip oil and this formulation of lip gloss is actually super hydrating as well. It does not leave your lips feeling parched, dry, nothing like that. And while it is sticky, it's not a super sticky formulation in comparison to some of the formulations I've tried. So obviously it's lip gloss. It's Your hair will get caught in it, obviously. it's Again, it's lip gloss. So the wind blows, you're shit out of luck. There is going to be hair on your mouth. But I don't know what it is about the formulation. It's like this creamy, really well-formulated feel on the lips that still has that stickiness to it because it is a lip gloss, but it is not so sticky that like your food is sticking to your lips. So it's like a really good in-between. And I love the hydration element because honestly, even with lip glosses, I find that sometimes as soon as it falls off, there is no hydration element. So even if the color wears off over a couple hours and you've been eating and you're drinking, you're doing whatever, you'll still have the hydrating element left on your lips. The color range is absolutely beautiful. We have a lot of nice pinky nudes and nude colors, which I love. Obviously those are my favorite in case you don't know me. But all the colors are gonna look different on every single person because it is a gloss. And depending on the natural color of your lips, it could help enhance or it could help just give it a nice sheen. For me personally, I feel like I have like this washed out like purpley, like slightly red berry color lip naturally. So a lot of these colors really complement my natural lips and give them the plumpness and the fullness. This is the lip gloss that I have ever, this is the only lip gloss I've ever seen that plumps lips up just like it's supposed to. Sometimes putting on a lip gloss does give you like that juicier element just because again, it's a gloss, it's supposed to do that. But this is just wow, boom, in your face. You don't need to get lip injections. I mean, this product is so good. And originally I was skeptical because when I tried it on my hand and I saw what it did to my hand, I was like, it was doing that to my lips. That's how I'm getting this plumper look. It's literally like giving it a rash or like irritating it in some way to make it pop up. The product is very good in the sense that it doesn't feel like chemicals. It doesn't feel like you're going to be parched and dry. Like I just said, it actually has the opposite effect, which is really what surprised me. If something causes like a rash on my hand, it's basically doing that on my lips but it's still moisturizing. It's a very unique, interesting composition of different ingredients to make this happen, but I think they've done a really good job. A lot of people spend a lot of money on plumping their lips. We've all tried it, we're all interested in it. It's just something that we want if we have those thinner lips, and my top lip is a lot thinner than my bottom. 
this really just gives you that instant solution, that instant fix. It could also be an enhancement if you do still get lip injections and lip filler. I mean, this is just beautiful, hydrating, well-priced. It's two-faced. I mean, it is, I'm honestly in awe and I'm so glad I checked that bottom <laughs> rack of the PR package or I would have missed out on all the lip glosses, but really beautiful color range. And if you want to just use your normal lipstick, you know, or your normal lip color, you can always go in with just a clear color or you do have the option with these lip oils. Again, there is the Maximum Plump, which is what I applied over the lip gloss. You've also got just the original lip injection. This is the one I've tried before many times. And then you also have the Lip Injection Extreme. So it's kind of like a little escalation clause. Might be interesting. Let me know if you guys want me to test out each of these in another video. I don't know if that's something that you guys are super interested in. But my recommendation would be just to go for the Maximum Plump. Just Balls to the wall, go all out. If you're trying to plump up the lips, just get the maximum. Pick the lip gloss that you think resonates with you and doing that combination together is gonna give you these beautiful, juicy, hydrated lips. Again, the hydration is lasting for hours after the fact. I'll include links to these down below so you guys know exactly which ones. And yeah, I'm just really in awe of these. I think they've done a really beautiful job. And again, I've mentioned, you know, they have their really cute palettes that always smell a certain way. They just do a good job with the details, and I think sometimes when there is such harsh competition, the beauty space is very saturated. In order to stand out, you always have to do something differently. This is such a unique concept, and the lip injection, like, this is something that they've been honing in on for a long time, so now to go the next step and do the glosses is really just beautiful. Now I'm wondering, are they gonna do lipsticks? lip injection lipsticks. I don't know how that would work because I feel like you need the juiciness of this. You need the hyaluronic element of it. You, you like need all these ingredients to be kind of like a wet formulation, but it could be a creamy lipstick. I don't know. Kind of curious if that's on their list next because I love me a matte juicy lip. Like that would be the evolution of all evolutions for lips is like plump them up, but give me that matte element so they don't come off as soon as you put your lips to the glass. Because again, lip gloss, as soon as you drink any water, your lips are on the glass. Whereas if it was a matte lipstick, less of that wear would be on your cups and what you're eating and drinking. But this is just a very beautiful formula. I think this will be really nice for summer. I mean, this color is just screaming my name. Pool day, beach day, yes. Just like a really beautiful, fun coral. And then some of these, I find would be perfect for nighttime as well. You've got kind of like a nude, you have that burnt orange, and then some of these deeper, more berry hues, I think would be really pretty for the nighttime. So I'm really excited to see what's next. You guys know a girl can never have too many lipsticks. I have so many in my office, in my room, and I just can't get rid of any of them because I just love them all so much. And you want a different color for your different moods, the different days, your different outfits, so it's just always fun to have a new lipstick. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about the formulation. This is kind of a first impressions. I started using the lip gloss about a week ago and then I have tried that lip injection in the past, if you guys will remember. I tested it on my hand, my hand got like rashy and that's why I just was like, what am I putting this on my lips for? But it is only meant for your lips. Again, do not put this anywhere else on your face or body except for your lips because they, whatever you put it on, it will swell up. It may feel a little bit uncomfortable. So just be careful. Make sure you get it in your lip line. I've actually gotten a little bit in some instances outside of my lip line and it kind of like even inflates the outside. So, I mean, if you're going for that look, go hog wild. But for me personally, I'm trying to keep it in the lip line and not have like anything else looking swollen or plump. So. Let me know if you have any questions and I will have links to the two that I used so you guys can check those out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's other things that you want me to do with these products, let me know. Like I mentioned, maybe a comparison on different days of each of these, but my recommendation would just be get the maximum. Just get the maximum one and you'll be good to go. Hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.